series means a series of time. Time series analysis is an empirical study of time series data. In economics, discrete time is often used in empirical study. A time series data is a series of data points listed at equally spaced points in time in a graph. Such data can be collected daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, quinquennially every 5 years or decennially every 10 years. You must be familiar with stock prices. The data on stock prices are collected daily. This is a screenshot from RBI website that says that RBI has released data on reserve money for the week ended September 6, 2019 and money supply for the fortnight ended August 30, 2019. This shows data on money supply are collected weekly. Money supply is the amount of money circulated at a point of time. The National Sample Survey Office or NSSO has been the key governmental agency in India at the national and state levels to study employment, unemployment and unemployment rates through sample surveys. It does not report employment or unemployment results every quarter nor every year, but generally only once every five years. The Center for Monitoring Indian Economy or CMIE, a non-government private entity, started to survey and publish monthly unemployment data for the first time in 2016. Its data collection methodology and reports differ from those published by the NSSO. According to Economic Times Bureau, on May 2019, the government has approved the merger of National Sample Survey Office with the Central Statistics Office or CSO under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation or MOSP. The Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation or MOSP releases estimates of GDP quarterly. This is the website of MOSP that shows the estimates of GDP for the first quarter April to June 2019. Similarly, data on government budgets are released annually Population census data is released after 10 years or decennially. Sometimes data may be available quarterly or annually such as GDP. Time series data are used in econometrics, mathematical finance and forecasting that uses previous values to predict future values. The economy is in continuous motion and the dynamic change of an economy can be best measured using discrete time.